So Dave's feeding the wires through right now uh, into the firewall. And as soon as he gets those in place so they don't get bunched up, we can let the car down the rest of the way, hopefully line up with our K-member bolt. It's because it's such a tight fit and we can't take it off the engine harness or off of the engine itself, we have to lower the car down just like we'd normally do it and feed those wires through the very small openings that they have in the firewall that Dave's made for them. So it's a drop it down, feed it through, drop it down, feed it through, drop it down, feed it through. That's with everything, speedometer cable, anything that has to have a connection to the transmission or the engine at the same time it goes in has to carefully be fed in there. All right, Ronald? That's it. What you doing, pumping a little iron there? I see you got a little bitty something going on there, a little, a little something, bit. something. A little something. A little something, something. A little not something. bad for 60. 60, how old are you? 53. 53? Yeah. You got any intention of growing up? Or is you pretty much Not going to happen. I'll just keep <laughs> coming to hang out. You young, isn't if it? I feel like I might be getting a little bit too grown up, I'm going to come hang out with you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the king of immature, right here. So when I looked at the K-member over in the other room, it wasn't next to our Superbird, which is FJ5 Limelight. Ron had it powder-coated FJ6 Sassy Grass Green. It looked like limelight to me. That's the problem. I'm colorblind, okay? Is that what you wanna hear? The colors are like kryptonite to me, okay? I can't see them very well. Until I put them together, then I can see them. So what we ended up doing was putting a silver one in. He, thank God, he brought a silver one that he had powder coated. I could have painted the green one the correct color, but it's our time frame, right? We just a couple of days to get the car done. It doesn't need to spend half a day down there getting painted and baked. So that was my decision, and ultimately I think the silver will look great. Okay, we're looking good here. Uh, the whole unit here would need to go back about three inches, so we should do that. This is exactly what we run into a lot of times over the years, where you have, what's the what's saying, too many chefs in the kitchen or whatever, right? Well, hold up? Yeah, why don't you hold up? I'm about three Double inches check. away from that. Let Dave check his wire harness down yeah, through the firewall. Good. Everybody knows what the other person's thinking, and they say it. Do you think we have any chance of going Right back. We can go straight back. Straight we back. Plenty of room. Well, we did have plenty of room. We hit yep. something. But maybe if the other person is off one, so this guy's saying, well, go back a quarter inch. And the other guy said, well, he must want to go forward a quarter inch. Pull it back towards you, Doug. Hang on a second. We're good. Man, we are so good right now. Good it's got to be that harness. And so they're all kind of fighting each other. Instead of one person kind of orchestrating, making sure it goes one way. Yeah, yeah no, it's hitting on that wire, so we're going to have oh. to get that plug in that box. Everybody's throwing their two cents in. It just it always makes things a lot more difficult. All right, narrow, which we can work. Once yeah, we gonna, get it into yeah. that pocket, right? Did we go too far? Oh, that's just, yeah, gravy. Giddy up. Gravy train. Oh, Should okay, I start doing the upper controllers? Yeah, yeah. 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 start putting that mother humper together. Right. Beautiful. It's just a constant, it's a constant balancing act with this. Everything's so tight in there that they're having a hard time. They've literally got to run the speedometer cable through the opening into the body as they lower it down onto it. It's, it's that tight. So that's what they're doing right now. <clears throat> Ron, of course, has gone berserk and is putting the upper control arms in. Ron and I formed a friendship a few years ago. I can call him up out of the blue, say, listen, I've done it again. I've overpromised. Probably going to underdeliver. And he just rises to the occasion. And working with him, He's one of those guys that does listen to feedback. He's an intelligent guy. He thinks things out, and I like that. He's a methodical mechanic, kind of like I am. I'll, I'll picture, what's this move going to cost if we do it? Will it cost this move down here? And so working with him is usually efficient or proficient even in most cases. But mostly, he's got a good heart and he's fun to work with. So yeah, I totally trust him to work on anything we've got around here. He can't wait to go home. Been here for a few days. He that is home. true. That is I understand. True. I understand. Been, been been a week and a half or so. Yeah, you're ready to go home. Huh? Ready to go home. So now that we've got the main structure of the drivetrain installed, the transmission cross member, everything's fast in the car. That allows us to race the car up and do all the plumbing. There's a lot of things that have to be connected underneath it, fuel lines and exhausts, etc. Once that's done, we'll lower the car back down, do the little bit of plumbing that's left in there, and maybe it'll be a fire up time. That's what we're hoping for. So it looks like everything is wrapped up on the Superbird. We're out of the woods. Ron came to the, Ron, my man, Magnum Force, Joe Dierte, put an E on the end, try to church it up, son. I'm gonna escort you out of here because I got stuff to do. Thank you very much, awesome. You were my 911 call. Couldn't have done it without you. Glad I want to you to know, I love it. And if you Glad need any help. help, I want, someday, the scales of justice have to go the other way. So 
anyway, it's good to yeah. see you and tell Jen hi. I certainly will. And you know what? I actually brought you a surprise. So it's not kick Ron out time. He's apparently got a little surprise for me. It's outside in the trailer. What is it? The Daytona. What Daytona? You remember the blown Hemi nitrous injected Daytona? He was supposed to bring it last year when he came out with the Challenger with the Viper engine and when we were doing the 392 SEMA CUDA. I'm so excited. I'm not in any kind of a hurry to get rid of Ron. He is a cool cat, right? But when he stopped me and said that he brought a surprise up, I've been wanting to see this car forever. I absolutely love Pro Street. Everybody that knows me knows I love Pro Street. It's fun, it's old school, it's kind of what we did as kids. And uh, that's exactly what his is, one badass Daytona Charger. So I'm excited to see that. Did you really bring it? I didn't even me. see your trailer. It's in the trailer. You rat. It's outside. Oh, dude, 528 cubic inches of fire breathing nightmare. <laughs> Back half drive. We talking yeah. two second, three second, quarter mile? Pro Street, <laughs> it actually, runs negative twos in a quarter mile. It actually sends the earth on its axis. How cool axis. is that? A <laughs> super bird, a super bird yep. with a Hellcat yep. and a Daytona with a 500. I mean, this is Mopar, baby. Oh yeah. No that problem. is awesome. No problem. I love that car. You see some of the new cars?